Hello everyone, welcome to Maida short video series. In this video, we will be talking about truss bridges. So as we know, one of the most common type of steel structure is the truss bridge. So today, we will see how to model that in Maida study. So in the structure tab, under the base structure, we are having a wizard option for the truss. And here we can just give the different inputs for the geometry and select the sections that we have previously defined. So in, in the work menu, you can see the material and sections that I have already defined and I will be using this to define my geometry. So very first, we can select the type of truss structure we are having. So I'm choosing the first one. Then I can give the number of panels I'm having. So I give it as four. Then using this reference diagram, you can give the length of your bridge. So we are having 48 meter and the height as six meter. The next is to give the sections. So in case we are having vertical elements, we will be choosing this vertical. And then we need to assign the different sections for the top chord, bottom chord, and for the vertical element and for the diagonal. So for the top, here you can see we are using the material as one for each. That is the steel A500 material. And the section we can just see from here. So for the top chord, I'm having the section name as four. And for the bottom chord, we are having the number as i. Similarly, for the vertical, it is 1 and for the diagonal, it is 2. So we can just cross check this here. Then going under the insert option, we can select the type and the like location of this structure to be inserted. So under the global coordinates, I am giving it as 0, 0, 0. But in case we are having multiple, like we are having already a structure is present. So you can insert this truss structure at any other location as per the requirement. So once this is done, we can just click on OK. And you can see like first, I've got a truss element on one plane. Now I will delete these extreme elements and I can just copy them in the Y direction. In this manner. Now we can give the cross girder at the bottom. So for that, I will create the element and I will just simply select the nodes. I select the section and from here I can select these nodes where I want to create the new element. Once this is done, we can just copy this element in the longitudinal direction. And again for the last, I just copy it single time. Now we can create the stringer beam. And we will translate it in both the direction. So our stringer beams has been defined. Now we can define the top horizontal members. So we'll choose the create elements again. I select the section and here I just need to select both the nodes again. And again we will just copy this in the x direction by using the translate option copy. So yeah, we'll just delete the extra element. Yes. Now to create the bracings. To simplify the model, I will just select the bottom elements so that I can easily work on that. So I select these elements and I'll activate them in this manner. Now I want to give the bracings. So for the bracing, it is important that we select the element type as truss because the bracings are pin jointed and they will not take the moments and will not transfer them. So use this as truss element and from here we will select the section as bracing. And I will not intersect the bracings here with the elements because I want this whole yes. 
so I'll choose the extreme edge it's met here so I want this bracing should act as a single element as of now you can see here that 192 is the single element if we divide it here so it will act as two element that is not the case that is why I've chosen this as unchecked now I can just copy these bracings again Now I can activate all the elements and we can just check the structure. So in this manner we can define the geometry. Subsequently we will provide the boundary condition loading analysis and results. But yeah this covers most of the part of the modeling. So you can see like how using this wizard for the truss element we can define our structure. Hope this learning video was helpful for you. See you in the next.